This is not the war to defend Russia that your grandfathers or your great-grandfathers fought. This is an illegal war. Your lives, your limbs, your futures are being sacrificed for a senseless war condemned by the entire world. We've got a memo from the Terminator. Hello, Brian Lilly here. Uh, once again, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the latest celebrity come, to come out with a video against Vladimir Putin's war on Ukraine. But will this one break through? Schwarzenegger recorded the video himself in an attempt to say to Russians, this is not your war, this is the Kremlin's war. Before we get to my colleagues, Lauren Gunter and Laurie Goldstein, let's hear a bit more of what Arnold the Terminator Schwarzenegger had to say. I know that the Russian people are not aware of such things are happening. So I urge the Russian people and the Russian soldiers in Ukraine to understand the propaganda and the disinformation that you're being told. I ask you to help me spread the truth. Let your fellow Russians know the human catastrophe that is happening in Ukraine. Okay, gents, we've heard from the Terminator You've seen the video. He's someone that does carry weight around the world still. You know, when we talk about celebrities, sometimes we over-exaggerate their, their heft, their influence. This is, do you think this is a guy people might listen to and say, you know what, we are being lied to by the Kremlin? Yeah, absolutely, I do. I, and, and, you know, it, it's come out that Schwarzenegger is one of the few people that Putin follows on social media. So this has got to be, uh, a real slam. Like, you know, I, I, I think part of the problem here has always been that Putin is delusional about the number of Nazis in Ukraine, about how much of a threat NATO is to Soviet or Russian security if they move and, and allow Ukraine as a member. So, uh, yeah, I think this does have an impact. And, and uh, it is a very perfect, I mean, they talk about Arnie did this himself. First of all, there's more than one camera angle, so he had to have help. But he is so professional. Like, he, there are no hiccups. There's no stumbling over words. He reads his script as though it was just natural conversation. And I was really impressed by it. So, yeah, I think it will have an impact. Laurie, w w what's your take on this, on the Terminator's attempt to terminate the war? I thought it was, as, um, as video, it was brilliant. Um, if it was the enemy, we would call it propaganda. It's so well done. Uh, and what he does is that he, he appeals to the um, better nature of Russians. He starts out with a personal anecdote, his closeness to a famous Russian uh, weightlifter, uh, goes into his uh, opposing his father in terms of what happened in the Second World War, where his father served uh, with the uh, Nazis and, and was, I guess, hurt at Leningrad and said that, that um, talked about the suffering of the Russian people. So he has that credibility. And then he talks about uh, the protesters having the true heart of the Russian people. You have been arrested, you have been jailed, and you have been beaten. You are my new heroes. And appealing to them by saying, there are 11 million uh, uh, people in Russia who have relatives in Ukraine. So when you shoot, when, when your soldiers shoot, you're killing a brother, you're killing a sister. So every bullet you shoot, you shoot a brother or a sister. Every bomb or every shell that falls is falling not on an enemy, but on a school or a hospital or a home. That is powerful stuff because he's not condemning uh, the Russian people and he's making a clear distinction between the Russian people and Putin. That is very effective stuff. Very well done. Uh, Laura, you mentioned propaganda. I'll get a quick answer from each of you on this before we go. During the Cold War, we had propaganda like uh, the Radio Free Europe that would broadcast into the uh, behind the Iron Curtain to let people know the truth of what was going on outside. And it did have an impact. It did have a sway. Is this the modern day equivalent of that? Laurie, you first, then Lauren? Oh, look, absolutely. And, and remember, we, this is, what's going on in Russia is astounding. In a totalitarian state, we have thousands of people being arrested. Uh, protesting um, uh, the war. Um, you, you, soldiers uh, who are captured in Ukraine are talking about Russian soldiers. We didn't want to do this. We were, we were told different things. We were told be, we'd be welcomed with open arms. The Russian government has lied not only to the citizens, but to its soldiers. Some of the soldiers were told they were going to fight Nazis. Some were told 
that the Ukrainian people would greet them like heroes. And some were told that they were simply going on exercise. They didn't even know that they were going into war. And some were told that they were there to protect ethnic Russians in Ukraine. None of this is true. That stuff is, um, yeah, no, it's very effective. Lauren? Yeah, I think it must be. And it is, it is harder for a totalitarian state these days to keep the truth from filtering in from outside. The Chinese are much better at it than the Russians are. Uh, they don't allow their own citizens to have VPNs, virtual private networks. Uh, and, and so they uh, can't get around, Chinese citizens can't get around the state censorship. But Russians have figured out that they can do this. And I thought one of the most brilliant things that I'd heard of, uh, from the, the Ukrainians and the Russians who are trying to get the truth into Russia was the Russian government had closed down a lot of the, the most popular websites and social media platforms. But if you went into a restaurant's review area, you were completely uncensored. And so they were, instead of leaving reviews for restaurants, they were putting the truth about the war onto restaurant websites. And other people were figuring this out in Russia and picking it up. So uh, this is going to be very, very difficult for the Russians to keep the, the, the lid on their disinformation. And to President Putin, I say, you started this war. You're leading this war. You can stop this war. All right, let us know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Could be a restaurant review, could be a review of us. Let us know what you think. Share this on social media. And of course, subscribe to our channel.